When we're setting up a, a program or a strategy to build relationships, 80% of the budget is focused not on the executive, not on the client, not even on the employee. It's on their spouse, their kids, their assistant or their team, and their pets. It's like, I got 200 advisors. They're all seven-figure earners. Here's the demographics. I said, are most of them married? He's like, yep. I said, do you know their wife's name? He's like, nope, we can't work with us. He's like, I can't just buy some stuff? I said, no, you gotta have the details. You gotta have the recipe dialed in. So he fought me for a few months. We send off a few knives of these financial advisors before their big annual conference out at the Hyatt, San Francisco. He's done the same event for five years. At the end, he asked for referrals because these are guys that are paying 25 to 50 grand or more to coach with him. And uh, he's like, John, if I would have increased our referrals two or 3%, that would be a big deal for us. He's like, I've checked the numbers three different times with my CFO, my COO. Our referrals went up 107% over any year we were the reason that worked, like those guys could go buy their own thing, but it communicated something different when it had the wife's name or the spouse's name. It communicated something different because of the personalization, the handwritten note, all the things that he fought me, he didn't realize that was what communicated the value